were upside down, I would be beside you. And your world were a strange thing found. This video is part of a huge collaboration which six other YouTubers and myself have been doing and the theme was Queen, so Alien Queen, Fire Queen, Flower Queen, so you've got quite a few really awesome tutorials to check out at the end of this one. As usual, the first thing I'm going to do is apply primer all over the lid and I'm also going to bring it round on the lower lid too because we are going to be applying makeup there. Next I'm going to be using a nail art brush and a black eyeshadow and I'm going to start at the inner corner on the lower lid and just line all the way onto the outer corner. Moving onto the upper lid we're going to start at the inner corner, bring it all the way into the mid of the crease and then we're going to bring it so that it just about touches the outside of your eyebrow. Then starting on the lower lid again we're just going to create a curve around the corner of the eye on the upper lid. And then once you've done that, we're just going to line as close to the lashes as possible and don't worry about getting the lines perfect at this point, it doesn't matter, we're just sketching out the design and we're going to neaten everything up later. So moving on to the butterfly pattern, we're going to create a teardrop shape just in the inner corner of the eye. Create another teardrop shape right above it and then moving on to the outer corner, we're going to create another one and you just want to follow the curve of the eye. So right around and then bring it down so that it connects into the liner. Now create a fourth shape just in between them. And now a fifth shape right above. And once you've done that we're going to create another one in between. And once you've done that you just want to really roughly fill in the gaps. We're going to create a larger teardrop but we're going to start it off as if we're doing winged eyeliner. So create one which just bridges the gap in between the eyeliner at the bottom and then the liner which is stretching out to reach your eyebrow. Starting on the lower lid we're going to create some flicks just reaching outwards. And you want to taper this out so that it starts thicker at the bottom and then gradually fades out the further out it goes. In my house on the hill there is room for you still Now that we've finished sketching out the design, we're going to move on to a yellow eyeshadow and we're going to start filling this in just at the top of the teardrop shapes. And you really want to pack this on. The first time you put this on, the colour might fade a little bit, so you are going to have to reapply it two or three times to really get the colour to show up to its full intensity. Once you've placed the yellow where you want to, we're going to fill in the rest of the design with the orange. And finally, moving on to the red eyeshadow, we're only going to be using a little bit of this at the bottom of all the designs. So right in the inner corners, you're just going to pop a little bit of the red. But not too much. In my house on the hill, there is to just clean everything up, I'm going to be using a navy blue eyeliner and just covering everything, making sure that the edges are really crisp and neat. Once you've covered the lid, we're just going to make the outside a little bit more interesting. So we're going to line them a little bit more and the main thing to make sure is that the edges are curved and don't have any harsh edges. Going back to the black eyeshadow, we're just going to make it fade out a little bit more because the blue can be a little bit sudden, so I'm going to take a little bit of the black and just extend the lines a little bit. Sound, I will be beside you. 
the lashes we're just going to be applying some false lashes and then on top of this I'm going to be applying some paper lashes which I made and you're just going to stick them down on top of the false lashes of course with this look I also had to put a few rhinestones so once I've done that I'm just going to create a C shape around this rhinestone and I'll finish off with a pink lip gloss It, you're done. You go, you go. In my symbolized world, I'm a beautiful girl. In my house on the hill, there is room for you still.